hi and welcome to Susan Sells. Tis the end of the week already. Another memorable week here in the Garden City that we will look forward to seeing the back of in one way or another. Tonight, have we got some great things to show you. Look, look at these beautiful clothes. Look at Sue from Affinity for Fashion in Northland's Mall. Hello. I'm into spring. Yes. And a spring in my step. Good stuff. And a spring in the store. Lovely. It's great. Look at the colour. Isn't this gorgeous? And I think everyone's wanting a bit of cheerfulness and a bit of brightness. And we've got some great colours in at Affinity at the moment. And I just couldn't resist bringing this. We've just unpacking this on my way to CTV. And I thought I've just got to start the show off with this gorgeous blue. I think it looks lovely. A wee tunic and a wee scarlet glue top underneath there. Great. Stunning, Sue. Great for a bit of colour. Yep. Now the maxi dress is going to be very popular again this season. Jeepers. And you can dress this up and dress this down. Canterbury colours here, lovely red and black and it comes in other colours as well. Very flattering and we've just popped over the wee shrug there just to keep those arms covered. That shrug is such a pretty, almost a salmon pink. Yes. Really lovely. And just on a, um, a different sort of vein, oh. we've got the Trini and Susanna shapewear in store. And I've just brought along the vest here, which is quite stretchy. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of cashmere down here and a wee bit at the top. And it doesn't get, away, uh, get rid of completely the bumps, but it smooths them all out. It's very comfortable to Hooks wear. them in the right places. It does, and it gives you a smooth line under some of the more fitting garments. It makes a huge difference. It does, yeah. and we've got different styles. We've got the all-in-ones, but the vest is very popular and very comfortable to wear. You've seen it on Trini and Susanna, and now it's on Susan Sells. Absolutely. Now, little dress Yummy. shorts. Aren't these just oh, darling? Yep. Really lovely little pair of Mac J's um, dress shorts with a wee cuff, and I've just popped over a lovely wee cotton knit that's just come into the store. Nice and easy to wear. Really sharp. What sizes in your in your shorts? Uh, eight, ten, twelve. Brilliant. Most sizes. Good stuff. Now this is another um, wee dress packed with colour, very flattering with the ruching here and we've just picked out the sort of mauvey shade in there and popped that on with some nice beads. And we have just um, got into store a lot of fascinators and hats, the most beautiful colours, getting ready for cup week. Mm. So if you've got an outfit and you're looking for a fascinator or a hat, come in and see us. And we've got some great colours. Do it now because Sue and I were just talking before and, and and stuff is just romping out the door, isn't it? It's just amazing, especially colourful things. Yep. Everyone wants some colour. Don't leave it till near cup week to buy your outfit. You will otherwise be wearing last year's. Exactly, and we're getting um, stock into the store every day now, so um, it pays to call in two or yep. three times a week. Love that. And our staff will help you find the right outfit. Mm -hmm. This is just new, a charcoal tunic dress, and we've just popped under another little lovely viscose top. Nice and easy to that wear. so sweet. We hood on the back? Yes. Yeah, love it. Now these are our great pants. This is a skinny legged pant, very comfortable to wear. It's got a lovely rise in it, which um, yeah. is really good, not too low. And it comes in black, taupe and the white. We've just teamed it with a wee tea there, a little Democracy Rush tea. Sue, that's so pretty. It is pretty, isn't so it? So is that. Oh my gosh, the spot skirt. Isn't that darling? Yep. I absolutely love it. I think one will be finding its way to my house. Yeah, I tell you what, I'll be fighting you for it. <laughs> it's the gorgeous. The pockets on the back are just gorgeous. There is it's, so much stuff. And oh. we've got the little um, ruched up uh, top here with the wee hood on. Need You've that. You've got the t Yes, need look at that. that. Need that, need that. Need to pay a visit to see Sue at Affinity for Fashion in Northlands Mall. Get in there, the range is absolutely beautiful and You've just got to get it before it's all gone. Warmth is the ultimate in winter. These freezing nights below zero overnight. And I can get up in the morning and pad around in bare feet because of you, thank you. Well, that's right. It took a wee while to get around to your place, but we did put a good pump in your place you at, certainly at did. the time. Um, I'd just like to tell people about what we can supply in the way of heat pumps. You've got a whole range. We've got a whole range. We've got the high wall range, which is... a goes from 3.6 kilowatts, which is like having three one, one kilowatt elements heaters plugged in, OK? So right, that's, that's, thank you. that's basically the size. We go right up to full 10 kilowatts, which is huge. Um, if you're building a house, 
you can bring your plans into our office. We can price your plans, you know, um, size the right size heat pump up off your plans. Um, also, if you're doing extensions or anything like that, we can make sure that we um, um, get the right heat pump for that. I mean, that was what impressed me when you came, what, 12 months ago, I guess now, to my house, and you went, right, Rob, where do you want it? We discussed where we thought it would go, and it was a joint yeah. decision. Yeah. Uh, and then you said, right, where's the main flow? And you managed to get my whole house warm. Well, it was, it was an ideal position, you know, where we picked it flowed straight through your living you know, into your kitchen dining area, down the hallway, so... Into the library, and, it just, and it's just done it. Now, you did a calculation yes, to make sure that that heat was going to get there, but I wasn't going to be that's Fiji the most just be underneath yeah. it. <laughs> that's the most important thing, to get exactly the right size. There's no point putting in something that's going to be too small. Um, sometimes we get calls, all, well, not sometimes, all the time, people saying the heat pump's not, you know, performing. It's only because it's undersized and it's working too hard. So... We go around, tell them what the you know, problem is. Sometimes we have to replace the heat pump. Um, How often do you need to have two? Oh, sometimes we put it down the hallway, one down the hallway, one in the living, one in the hall. Um, that's getting more and more popular. Um, the floor mount range that we... Um, I've bought one in today to show you. This one here is very, very popular. It's a 5.2 kilowatt unit. Um, it vents from the top and the bottom at the same time. Yep. Or, yeah, so we switch inside to be have it only venting from the top. Now, they're proving very, very, very popular. That's because heat rises. It does. And older people like to feel that heat going across the carpet. And their feet. And their feet. That's dead right. So they are popular. Um, every Fujitsu heat pump we install comes with a six-year warranty on parts and labour. Mm -hmm. They're the only air conditioning company that give that full warranty. Now, that's, that, you know, that's pretty good going. But we also can offer um, a full range of ducted systems for your whole house. Like every room will just have a supply grill in it. One system in the roof, one outdoor unit, and it supplies the whole house. So from front to back, you can have your whole house heated. So that's pretty good. What I was impressed by was that you turned it into a science. You weren't just selling me something. It's not guesswork. No. You have to do the calculation to make sure that you do get it right. What's the standby time between if somebody ringing you now to you actually... Well, um, we try to turn around in about seven days from the time they accept the quote. And this time of the year, um, you know, as it is now, we can... You know, we can do that pretty good. Tell me about the constant heat too, because you told me, and I've been doing it, just to set it and leave it there 24 hours a day. Well, we find it, um, it's cheaper to do that rather than turn it off and on, off and on all the time. Um, to just turn it down at night time when you go to bed on 16, on super quiet fan speed, it's cheaper to heat from 16 to 21 than it is from freezing all the time. OK? When you go out during the day, same deal. Turn it down. Don't turn it off. Ooh, it gets... I've just been leaving it on <laughs> the same, same That's level. That's fine. If it's hotter than 16 degrees, it'll cycle off. OK, so, but when it cools down later on in the afternoon, it'll come back on. And of course, in the summer, it becomes uh, an air conditioning unit. It does, and they work perfectly. Um, we've got another branch to our business as well. We do full electrical wiring. Uh, so if you're building a house, you can bring your plans in. We can um, size it for the heat pump, sort out all your wiring everything like that as well, so we've got it all covered. I think you've got it covered exceedingly well, he really does. Now the interesting thing is that as I said, you get up in the morning, you don't turn anything else on, it's lovely and warm, easy breeze, Lillybrook Centre in Rangiora, do give the guys the ring, they'll come out and help you stay warm and safe all winter. Kirsten's with us now from Peony Rose Quality Gifts. Kirsten, I've lost my marbles. You have, you, well, I'll find them at the front for you, so quick, here they are. There's your marbles. <laughs> All beautifully packaged for you, big marbles and little marbles. How many did you lose? I think about 50 of them. Yeah, well, that's lucky because there's 50 in there, so well, they're all there. By so pure coincidence. And look at this. And this oh. is beetle, old-fashioned beetle in a retro box. I remember this. My kids are going, what's that? That's something that's not plugged in. Yes, it is. And then to go with all the old retro gifts, we have the robots. Oh, my. Remember the Jensen's and there was the little... Yep, little lady meet robot. George Jetson. More than meets the eye. Jane, his wife. That's it. I won't sing. I won't sing. So we have the robots and we have the car and the little wind up motorbikes. That is just and they all go. So adorable. Yes. And so it, tidy it, for Father's Day. It's very good for Father's mm. Day. Um, and these, we were looking at these lights, so. So what? these are strings of lights. Oh, so you take them out of the box. You take and them out of the box and there's a big long, long five metres. Of lights, or wow. three metres of lights and two metres of cords. This, this is a little blue dinosaur guy. This is dinosaurs, and there's butterflies. Oh, cute. And, and there's pirate ships and, and cupcakes. Great for a little person's room yeah, or a strange big kid's office. 
Yes. Depending where you want them, I suppose. Oh, I've got a place or two I could suggest. There we go. Yeah. We have the dolls at the front, which are always popular. Marilyn. Marilyn. Let's Marilyn. Do Marilyn. Why not? There we are. We've got Marilyn coasters. Oh, thank you. Isn't very she glam. Beautiful. She's always very popular, is Marilyn. People sort of come and look yeah. for something. She's very just glam. She's, isn't she's she? very collectible. So that's a couple of the coasters. Then down the front, um, mm. on the floor, yep. we go down to the umbrellas. Your parasols. Oh, sorry. Mother always said you never open a inside. Oh, right. Because it'll make it rain so we again. Have, we have got parasols that are very weatherproof. Yes. Umbra on the floor. Those. Yes. Yes. Monet and Marilyn in a big, big bag there. Beautiful. Oh, isn't she oh. gorgeous? Isn't she? How much are the... the um those. They, they are you? about sixty-seven fifty, and at the moment, I nearly forgot to mention, I'm um, in my last week of my sale, twenty percent off all stock because Crikey. I'm going on a buying trip. Good stuff. Um, so I need to clear some stock. Mm. So twenty percent off everything um, for the next and week. Plates and and bags. Yes, and clocks. Bags and what's, yeah. Uh, what have we got oh. over here? Oh, Father's Day. We oh have yes. Barometers. Yes, we do. I'll have that one. You have that one, and I'll have this one just to range. There's quite a few different barometers in the shop. Because in case the weather goes funny, you want one of these. Yes. You go along, mean pet the barometer, don't they? Yes, they do, and they seem to understand what that does. I don't know what it does. I haven't got um, a clue. Got a it's a male thing. My yes. father used to go past and tap the barometer. Not sure what it did, I though. I think it, it, if there was water on it, the roof had leaked. <laughs> be a bit late uh, then, wouldn't it? Probably. Oh, nice, nice cake, cake tins. tins. If anyone feels like baking. Yeah. People are buying them just for decoration. Yeah. They're, they're very... People are very nesty at the moment, aren't yes. they? Yes, yeah, they're going to ground, yeah, homing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, All yeah. sort of the making... pigeons. It's like... In fact, it's... there's probably a pigeon in here somewhere. There probably is, there probably is. And a beautiful big heart, um, which is wooden. Two hearts together. Oh, I there. see how it works. Yes. Gotcha. So it's like that. Oh, wonderful. And you just pop that on stuff? Yes, right. just put that on. And tea towels. So, here we go. Thank you very nice much. Nice tea towels. I've heard of these. You do stuff with them in the kitchen, <laughs> don't you? You do. Or you can get your children to do things in the kitchen with them. That's lovely. Isn't it? Have you got some with a picture of a Nintendo Wii on it? No, because our ones are um, banished at the moment. Oh, good. Yes. Very sensible. Love your work. These are gorgeous. <laughs> beautiful, Kirsten. beautiful tea towels. Beautiful. And very are, feminine and soft. And they are sitting on a cake stand, which you can't see because it is covered in tea towels. There is virtually nothing left. Oh, yes, there's, there's a ton left, isn't there? Yes, it's all on is. sale. Big sale, 20% off until the end of next week. At Peony Rose Quality Gifts in the Halls Hall Shopping Centre. And by the time Kirsten's back on the show with us, which isn't going to be far away, she's going to have all sorts of lovely new goodies for you to look at. Dougal from Flags Tyres has tyres for us to look at. Yep. How are we going today? Oh, good. How about yourself? Not too bad. They're big tyres, do you? No, well, not too big. This is just a standard tyre. That sort of thing goes onto a Toyota Corolla. Oh, OK. And the tyre below it is the sort of thing that you put onto a Ford, like a Ford Falcon or a Commodore. They're very fat, those ones, aren't they? Yeah, you've got to have the big, wide tyres. It's all part of uh, all part of having a big, you know... Big, wide big, big car. Sort of You're manly. That's right. That's exactly right. And, of course, I didn't bring any 4x4 tyres in with me today, but we've got a huge selection of 4x4 tyres as well. So what's so new in your world at Flags Tyres? Oh, everything seems to be ticking along pretty well. That's you know, good. My computers are complaining that they're quiet and we're, we're quietly, you know, being busy. So people are, you know, the people of Christchurch are intelligent and they're coming into Flags Tyres as opposed to going to... But we still want more customers. That's why I'm here. Good. Yeah. Why should we come to you? What do you do that makes you so good, Dougal? Uh, first, uh, first of all, we front up with a price. OK, so if I'm doing something, so many people, they always rue the mechanical trades because, because, because we're, we're, never, we're so hard to pin down to a mm. price. And sometimes it's impossible, but quite often we should be able to front up with a price. So if I'm going to do a shock absorber on your car, mm. and I've worked on exactly the same model car last week, and I know how much I charge them... How about I offer you that the same price? Well, it doesn't seem unreasonable. I've done, I know how many, I know how much time it's going to take. I know what it's going to cost me for the part, mm -hmm. and the other person shopped around and they've found that to be an acceptable price. So go ahead, go ahead and do it. Right. So many people. So I, I, I put down a quote, and it, and it does frustrate me sometimes. I put down a quote to somebody, and they say, "Oh yeah, I'll think about that. I'll get back to you." And it's a polite way of saying, "Well, you know, I'm going to shop around." Yeah. And then they come back and tell me this woeful story how they've went somewhere else and paid more money to get the job done, more than my quote. And while you're laughing politely behind your hand, what happens Well, I'm not time? laughing because I've missed out on the business, mm. for a starter, and they've been ripped off. Oh, silly. So, Don't do so, it, people. So get a, you know, and, and a quote's not a quote. I mean, when I quote on something, it includes GST, it includes labour, includes everything, and that's what you've got to pin the guy down to. Mm. Well, 
whoever's running the business. Yeah. And uh, that's what we try and do. And for the most part, like, if we're halfway through a job, we will contact someone and say, look, you know, here's, here's a couple of options. Maybe a, you know, a hub's broken on a car. We can say, well, we can get a used part. Yeah. That's going to save you. So you're not, you're not precious about stuff like that? Not exactly, no. 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 Well, that's well, I come from a background of working in automotive dismantling, so I'm very comfortable with fitting used parts. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Obviously, there's a less, less of a warranty on that job. Yeah. But all the same, you know, everyone. I mean, if the car's only worth a thousand dollars, I'm not going to ring up and say, "Hey, there's fifteen hundred dollars worth of repairs to do." No, it's well, a waste of time. It, it's it is gonna, a waste of time. It's just you know, people are just going to get not, not enthused about that. No, not. But if I say, "Hey, if I can fix it for say four hundred and fifty dollars," yeah, okay, yeah, I'll fix it. I'll carry on. I'll keep it for another six months. So what's happening at the moment? Shock absorbers, you just mentioned. Huge amount of shock absorber work. Uh, we, lots of tyres, obviously, lots of ball joints. I mean, as soon as you get over to, especially on the eastern side of Christchurch, mm. there the roads are very, very rough. Mm. And they're going to stay like that for a long time. Yeah, they are. So, there's, and there's just no no way around it. We have so we have to uh, just accept that. Uh, I mean, some of the things that we're seeing through, they're not the, we're not seeing worn out parts. We're seeing broken, broken parts, yeah. broken cars. So, uh, and and sometimes sometimes it's quite good because it's really obvious what's wrong. Yep. So it's really obvious what to fix. So, you know, so it makes the job sometimes a little bit easier to explain. I might have to bend your arm and see if in a, in a, next time you're on we can get you to do a bit of a shock absorber deal for our Eastern Suburbs clients. What do you reckon? Oh, we can work something out, I'm sure. I reckon I'd have be... to get one of my suppliers on board well, to get me about, a better deal. How about you and I get some arm bending going? What do you reckon? I reckon we can do so, something. And yeah. in the meantime, everything else, and those as well, of course, because you need them done. Flags, tyres, Dougal and the team operate at Garlands Road in Wollston, at Haytons Road in Sockburn, Give them a ring. 384-0000000. Goodbye can be such a hard word to say. Cheryl's with us now for, from Dignity with Sincerity Funeral Services. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Sue. Good. And, and Daisy as I'm well. I'm trying to keep Daisy awake because every time <laughs> she comes in here, she just lays on here. I think it must be the heat of the lights or something, and she just decides she wants to go to sleep. Oh. And the amount of people that want to see you and ask for you, hey, don't they? You're a sausage. You are just hey? lovely, aren't you? And she's just wonderful in the funeral home. Um, when people come in to um, view their loved one, um, she just makes them feel at home. It's just like walking into their living room, which is what they comment and say. It's not like a sterile clinical type atmosphere. It's, yeah. um, it's one of a homely one and she plays with them. and wants them to throw her ball for her, so yeah. it's really actually all about Daisy, really, isn't it? Oh, do you hear your name? Eh? You say hello to all the people out there that want to talk to you and want to come and see you. But it is wonderful, and having animals that around death, I think it's certainly yeah. a, an icebreaker. Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, at a, at a time when you're probably feeling your most vulnerable, you so don't have to say anything, you no. can just pat the dog or, or the cat, they've got a cat there too now, but... Um, How did Daisy and the cat get on? Oh, they were brought up together, so they're just like brother and sister, well, you know, sisters, basically, so they just play around and... So the licking is a bonus, or is, am I special? You must be special, actually. <laughs> well, you, you know you're special. A lot of people wouldn't think you were, but I'll stick with you, you are. Good on you, cat. Good on you. And oh, Daisy, Daisy thinks you are, so that's the most important. Absolutely. So, um, funerals, we suppose we'd better talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Mm. Where, is, where is your funeral home? It's on the corner of uh, Kingsley and Brisbane Street in Waltham. Mm -hmm. And we have a, um, a funeral home, a full facility. We have a chapel, so you can have a, a chapel service there, of which we either use um, a priest, a minister, or a funeral celebrant, or mm -hmm. a family member. Yeah. Sometimes I even get roped into doing it. You can't do two jobs properly, as I keep saying, like you can't be the funeral director and the funeral celebrant, but um, some people say, oh no, we want you, so you yeah. you know, you do it for people, special Absolutely. people if they really want it, yeah. and um, and you can, you know, have, have your funeral service there and then it can be, uh, the person can be taken away, cremated or buried, yeah. and um, you can have a cup of tea there as well, so you know, it's... Um, so it's such a complicated time, isn't it? It feels like everything's hitting you all at once. Well, it's because your emotions are overriding everything else. And that's what our job is, to try and stop you having to feel like that. Yeah. So, I, as I say to families, look, I'm here to do what you want me to do, 
I'll do as much of it as you want me to or as less of it. As mm. much as you want to do, if you want to do the service sheets, if you want to take the funeral service, etc., we'll just fill in the bits in behind you so yeah. that we're following along. Well, we're not following behind, but we're walking alongside you, mm. which is, I think, very important that we don't come in and take over and say, you're going to do this and you're going to have that, etc., yeah. etc., et which does happen sometimes. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and we don't um, we do not do that. We walk alongside the families, which... Um, we get compliments that that's what families really enjoy. Very yeah. hard. I mean, when you when you're thinking about that as a a profession, it's not that you tend to shop around before you need to, you know, have the services of someone. If you're buying, you know, if you need the services for a loved one. That's right. Although some people are ringing and getting quotes, which I think is really sensible. But the most sensible thing to do, I think, is to ring and have a pre-arranged funeral. Not necessarily prepaid, but mm. pre-arranged, so that. Um, the mother can sort of say, well, I want this music, I want to have it in the chapel, I want a cremation, etc, etc. Yep. And in actual fact, that's what's happening, because if you've got three or four kids and they all have got different mm. ideas, then, then all hell breaks loose. And, yeah, it's you interesting. Need, you need to see Cheryl at Dignity with Sincerity Funeral Services in Waltham. And, of course, you'll also get to see Daisy. Of Cheryl course. will help you at a time when you and your family need it most. Hey, Philippa from Long Island, how are you? Good, it's a great day outside, it's chilly, but it's perfect for wearing my coat. And it's a beautiful coat, tell Thank me all about much. it. Well, this is one of our brand new coats just in. I know it's a little late in the season, but it's quite lightweight, so you could wear it sort of through that transition period, which is really why we've done it. Nice, long, flattering lines, decent pockets you can get your hand in, and um, a nice, uh, I'll turn around so you can see the back of it, nice kind of uh, trim line, but it's um, very well cut. It is well cut. It's beautiful. Now, I'm going to take it off, because I'm going to talk about some other things today as well. Super. So you can see what else I'm wearing, which is my um, Merino cardigan, my Cossack cardigan, the much loved and extremely popular. And we have them in, finally, a whole host of colours. Oh. We have them in the red. I'm going to pass them to you. We have them in the black that I'm wearing. We have them in the brown, the um, uh, stone, stone beige, Torp charcoal. Thing. I can't remember what torp. Torp's the word <laughs> I'm looking for. And the uh, grey. And they're all back in stock. And they're made here in Christchurch. And they're 149.90. And they are made from New Zealand merino wool, made here in New Zealand too. Great value for So 100% New Zealand made. I was talking to someone about ethical fashion today, and thinking that actually New Zealand made product is of course ethical fashion. Absolutely. Because it's made here. We don't. Um, you know, we use adult labour and we pay realistic rates and That's all the right. rest of it. So Good stuff. Mm, Where to next? Thinking. Where to next? We're going to um, hop to this uh, lovely, again, mid-season um, weight coat with a stretch lining. Mm. So it's extremely comfortable to wear. The whole knit thing just really moves. Lovely um, pockets, lovely shaping. And I've teamed it back with a merino um, knit pollen neck because there's still those kind of chilly days where yeah, you want something else to definitely. wear and it comes in black as well and again made here in New Zealand really nice little coat very nice now this is what I'm wearing underneath my black cardigan wow. I have one of my tunics on and the nice thing is I said it looks a bit like wood panelling but it's extremely comfortable because it has the black panel down the sideline which gives you a bit of sort of stretch in it yep. and it just kind of floats over all those areas we don't particularly like mm -hmm. well some of us don't mind them some of us don't <laughs> like them I'm indifferent but um <laughs> and I've teamed it back with a little um, matching uh, top underneath, so you That's can get the sort of total coordinated look. But um, that panel comes yeah, into its own, then, doesn't it? It certainly it's not does. Too much. No, not too much at all. And again, made right here in Christchurch. Mm. Very, or well, made here in New Zealand. I can't say it's absolutely made in Christchurch. It might be made in Auckland, but we won't mention they that. They need something to do. That's right. They? They've got to be occupied up there, otherwise they'll wow. go crazy. Philip, I like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful coat. Um, again. Particularly nice if you were thinking of something for sort of mother of the bride yeah. or special occasion or you just want to look really dressy when you wear it to work. Great cocktail coat. Oh, fantastic. We do it in sizes, of course, 10 to 30 mm. or extra small through yeah. to 4XL. Very so there's nice. something for absolutely everyone. This new little tunic that's just come in is a real wow. It's, um, again, the same with the black stretched down the side and the pockets. But in the black and grey um, checks, it's actually really quite funky. You can wear it with leggings yeah. under a long line cardigan like this and um, boots or wear it in summer with a white pair of, you know, white t-shirt and a pair of sandals. Work or play, um, it's just yeah, great. Exactly, so this little cardigan comes in mm. the red, the lovely slate grey, the taupe, and of course black, what would we do without black? And again, that's a really nice day through to evening wear look Absolutely. as well. I'm mm. just grabbing these, Philippa. They and I'm looking at the colours on these, they're amazing. 
Tiger Scent jeans in this in this colour range is just incredible. I know, we love them and the fit's great and they've got stretch in them, made from stretch and they're an absolutely classic jean. The shape's yeah. not going to go out of fashion, um, very wearable. There are the stores for you for Long Island Fashions here in Christchurch in Sydney and Merivale. Hello Auckland at Ellerslie and in Wellington in Featherston Street online at longisland.co.nz. Isn't it nice to see a happy man? Look, here's yeah. one. It's Brad Maxwell from Premier Realty. No point in being miserable. No, well, it's not. Not no. the week you've had. No, no. Well, we are busy, which is great, because people are, are motivated. They're keen to get out and, and do something. Yeah, really and they're set. doing yeah. it, aren't they? They are. There's plenty yeah. of business being done. Yeah, so I've got my roller skates on, and I've got a full weekend of open home, so... Just got to get get out there and give me a call and That's come in like and have a look hear. at what we've got to show you. That's what we like to hear. Have you got some properties for us to look we at? We have. Shall we go shopping? Oh, I thought you might have run out. No. 246 Memorial Ave in Burnside. Asking $570,000. It is at the Burnside end of Memorial Ave. It's a nice home. Uh, double garage, three bedrooms, big study, two living rooms with a uh, kitchen in the middle so you can walk through. And It's got some, some good features to it. Mm. So, good opportunity there. Very, very nice. Now, 99 Peveril Street in Rickerton, somebody wanted to see the internal shot of this, so I'm going to show that shortly. Oh, OK. Asking 390. This is bathed in sun. Look at that. That is <sighs> all north-facing. That yeah. was taken about midday, so the sun just pours straight into this one. So, it's a good three-bedroom home on a nice corner section with lots and lots of sun. Yeah. Now, for the first-time buyers, you know, the people that are needing some temporary accommodation or... Just an investment property, 22 Portman Street in Walston, asking 249. It's had had uh, a new roof. It's got new carpet. It's got a new log fire. Three bedrooms, full 600 square meter section, and two car garaging as you can see there. So good and very handy to the Walston village. I think Walston is going to be one of the little uh, well kept secrets. It's, I really it's do. A gem. It's um, definitely worth looking at. Yep. 22 Maple Place in Rangura, four bedroom plus study home, again with two living rooms and, and a kitchen in the centre so you, you, walk, excuse me, you walk through, asking 419, north facing, very, very sunny as well. Mm. So I like that. It's a nice design that too. Rangura is going well ahead. Yeah. Yeah, and it will. It really is. Yeah, mm. for sure. Now, at 1403 Main North Road, we've got a Heritage 2 church um, on a quarter acre section asking 180. Um, we're getting some interest. There's a few options there because of the classification and a few things to know. So just give me a call. I'll talk you through that one. We don't see many churches on the market. No, we don't see many <laughs> churches on the market. I think everyone could agree with that. Yes, yeah. Couldn't we? <laughs> now, 112 Rattray Street in Rickerton, asking 379 for a three-bedroom house, good-sized garage, studio at the back, mm. and again, I've got the internal shot to show you how nice the kitchen is. Oh, so, my, hey, now, I did not expect that kitchen off that exterior. That is much yeah. nicer than I thought. Isn't it different? Yeah. Nice, bright, modern, mm. a good living space for, for everybody. And um, a great location. Oh, get... that's that's good. Hmm. So, just trying to sell, sell a few more homes. Yeah. With a few different features, we've got something for everybody. I think that's really good. So, if people are looking to list at the moment, Brad, um, you know, there's all these people coming out of the red zone in the not too distant future. You must be you picking up we're, listings. We're, right we are meeting lots of red zone buyers, mm. telling us what they want, we're putting them into the database. Yep. So, if you've got something some special needs, yep. give me a call. But also, if you're looking to sell your property, worth talking yep. Brad. Talk One, to Brad. 1%. 1%. One percent. Brad Maxwell, Premier Realty. And if you have a look on his website, premierhomes.co.nz, that will give you all the information about his many, many open homes that are happening over the course of this weekend. And this weekend is where I'm going to go and head now. What a fun week we've had. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, we'll have a... Great day. <laughs> See you then. Bye. -bye.